Hi guys, welcome back to another episode with At Home at Sue. I'm going to try to keep this as short as possible. Today we are making um, some dinner rolls. I'm bored. This is a good recipe to make when you're bored and you have nothing else better to do. You've done everything else. So we're going to start out with one half cup of milk. And this is going to get warmed up in the microwave. Alright, so we got a half a cup of milk there. I'm going to pop this in the microwave real quick. Okay, so I popped this milk in the microwave for about 25 seconds. Every microwave is different. So just check it at 20 seconds just to make sure. You want it to be a little, like body temperature warm. Not too hot. So to the milk, we're going to add two and a half tablespoons of sugar. One, two and a half tablespoons. We have our yeast. into the milk and sugar. We're going to give that a quick little stir up. Let that sit for a few minutes. Alright, so we're going to let that sit for a couple minutes. I'm going to put you on pause. Okay, so I've been letting this sit for about five minutes and the yeast is starting to bloom up. So I know it's good. I'm going to take, this is three and a half tablespoons of butter, stick butter. And uh, I put it in the microwave just to start softening up. Throw that right into your milk and yeast. Give it a quick stir up. One egg, room temperature. Put that right in the cup also. Give that a quick whisk. Now I usually only have salted butter in my refrigerator. I don't want to add too much salt to this. I'm only going to put a quarter teaspoon of salt into that. It's like a pinch. Give that a quick mix. Set aside. Bring your bowl over and your flour. So we're going to start out with two and a half cups of flour first to start. We may need more. So the way you want to measure your flour is to loosely put it into the cups. You don't want to pack this in. So that's roughly one, two, and a half. So with our liquid, the milk, egg, yeast, sugar, take your liquid, mix everything together in the bowl so it comes together. You can do this in the stand mixer. I'm just doing this by hand today to show you that you don't need a mixer. We just want to mix this all up until it starts coming together. I want to reposition this tripod so I can uh, get in there. We're going to need this for 10 minutes after. So let's continue to bring this together in the bowl. Now, see how it looks a little dry? Now, depending on the humidity in your house, you may need to add more liquid. You may not. So we're just going to get in here with our hands right now. Let's slide that over. We don't need that right now. So we're going to keep kneading this in the bowl until you pick up all your flour. You might not have to add any more liquid. I'll have to... When I get this out of the bowl, I'll look at it and knead it up in a little bit. I might add maybe one tablespoon of water, but I might not. We'll see. I'm going to dump that out onto the table. Give it a quick knead. So all I am is just pushing it. Grab all your extra crumbs. And I'm not going to add any more flour to this. No liquid. It feels perfect. It looks good. So we're just going to sit here and knead this for 10 minutes. A few more seconds of this just to show you. All I'm doing is pick up all the little flour and stuff. Clean up your table. Okay, so I'm going to put you on pause. You don't need to watch me do this for 10 minutes, and we'll be right back. <laughs> squeaky, squeaky. All right, so this is just about done. It's been 10 minutes. I've been kneading for 10 minutes, and I did add just a little, like, teaspoon of water on my hands just to wet it. And I came back, and I needed some more. I just wanted a little more moisture in the dough. Okay? 
this is how I need it until it looks like that. It's not pulling apart. Okay, just put it into a ball. So we have our ball. Give it a little push. See how it comes back? That's when you're done. So take your ball, your bowl, not your ball, your bowl. A little bit of olive oil on it. Coat the top. Flip it back over. This is just so it doesn't dry out and get all dry. Um, let me just rinse my hands real quick. Let's push that there for one second. I'm just take some regular cling, cling wrap and just put that right over your bowl. I'm going to let this sit for roughly about an hour or until your dough is doubled in size. If your house is on the cool side, it's not going to rise as quick as a warm house. So we're going to take that, take a towel, and just toss it to the side and let it hang out on the table for a while. So we'll be back in about an hour. Okay, so our dough has been rising for about an hour. Now what you're going to do is get yourself a baking dish. I happen to use a rectangular one. Five by nine, we'll say. I don't know. Lightly spray. Not too much. I'm going to set that aside. Take our wrap off. Punch your dough down. Take it out. Turn it out. Give it a quick couple kneads. What you're going to do, you're just going to pinch off. Actually, I'm going to get my scissors. You want a golf ball size piece of dough. Just flatten it out. Bring your edges into the center. So what you're doing, you're just bringing the outside in. And you're just going to form a ball. Flip it over. Give it a quick little roll in between your hands. And there you go, you have a nice little ball. Take your pan, plop it in. And we'll do that again and I'll show you. Again, take about a golf ball size piece of dough. Push it out. Bring in your sides to your middle. Camera angle is not so great here. So pull, 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 pull. Probably use a little bit more dough on that though. Here, let's. Usually I do have a scale, a kitchen scale, and I do weigh these out so they're pretty much the same size. But you don't want to always want to have the scale out. Not everybody has a scale. So, this will do. You want to make a ball, and as you're, as you're rolling, it's going to bring everything together. Plop that one in. Again, about a ball, golf ball size. Take it, roll it, put it in your pan. These are actually, that middle one's a little on a large side, but that will be okay. Now, not only do these make really good dinner rolls, these make perfect slider rolls. Now, of course, you can always take this dough and make a loaf of bread out of it. Okay, and I'll show you one more, and then I'll finish the rest off camera. So, it's easier if you flatten it out a little bit, then bring your edges in to the center. Take it and roll. All right, so I'm going to finish the rest of these up off camera, and we'll be right back. Okay, so our dough is rolled into little balls. We're going to take the plastic wrap that we had on the bowl, place that over the pan. And again, we're going to let these rise for about an hour. Cover it tightly, and when that's done rising, we'll be back. All right, so our rolls have been rising for a second rise for it's about an hour, well, maybe a little bit over an hour. Anyway, I put a towel underneath the pan because this table was getting cooled off. I wanted to make sure everything was nice and warm. So now what we're going to do now is preheat the oven at 375, and when that gets up to temp, we'll be right back. So our oven's up to temp. However, I want to put an egg wash in here. So take one egg. Put it in a dish, splash of milk, beat this up a little bit. Okay, take your plastic wrap off. See how nicely those rose? 
what you're gonna do is gently take your egg wash and gently brush it on your dough. Don't want to put too much pressure on it because you risk deflating. Now this is going it's supposed to be for my dinner tonight but hopefully I can save some <laughs> because these are really good when they come out of the oven. Nice quick little coating of egg. Now this is not mandatory you don't have to do this if you don't want to um, you can use butter if you'd like browns it up very nicely let's take a walk over to the oven in the oven don't mind my dirty oven throw that in and we're gonna let that bake for about 15 to 20 minutes depending on your oven till it's golden brown we'll be back okay so the rolls are done oh i gotta flip my roast hold on one second okay so like i said our rolls are done they are very hot. Grab a butter knife. I'm going to take a small roll. Save the big ones for dinner. We'll grab that one there. Hot, hot. So what you do is grab a mitt. We'll let them cool off a little bit longer. Pipe and hot. Just pull that apart. Ow. Ow, ow, ow. And look how flaky and squishy and soft and pillowy they are. Nice, nice. Grab some butter because I want a piece, and I'll get the rest of the husband. So, seeing that everybody's home, you need something to do. These take a couple hours to make, so you have time to do it. Give it a try. If you're new to my channel, subscribe, give me a like, thumbs up, push the uh, bell button, notifications, all that good stuff. Okay, I'm cracking up now. What day are we on quarantine? Anyway, ow, ow, hot, hot, hot. Have a bite. Good stuff. Take care, stay safe everyone. See you on the next one.